thousands of years, the first cataract on the Nile marked Egypt's southern boundary. Beyond stretches Nubia, a region coveted by the pharaohs of all dynasties, including Ramses II, the most famous ruler of them all. Nubia, ethereal flesh of the gods, realm of gold, land of copper and diorite mines, a world of rock and sand, inhabited by creatures molded by the gods of the wind. Mysterious and fascinating Nubia, African land, crossed by caravans carrying ivory and ebony for powerful Egypt's temples and palaces over 3,000 years ago. What was the ancient region of Nubia is today southern Egypt and a major part of southern Sudan. For 15 centuries, from the New Kingdom to the Ptolemaic period, prior to the birth of Christ, the pharaohs built countless temples and chapels on the banks of the Nile. In 1960, the construction of the Aswan High Dam and the creation of Lake Nasser meant these monuments would be permanently submerged. A major international operation headed by UNESCO led to a last-minute rescue which saved almost all of Egypt's temples from the waters. As we embark on a cruise aboard the Nubian Sea, we invite you to penetrate the secrets of the mysterious Nubian temples and discover the amazing story of how they were salvaged. Aswan is no doubt one of the most beautiful towns in the Nile Valley, though it has grown since the